Hi everyone, Charlotte here. So today I'm going to be showing you two um, different ways of creating a distressed ink, like distress marker rainbow background. And um, the colours I'm going to be using is the Festive Berries marker, which is the red colour of the rainbow. We've got the ripe persimmon, which is going to be the orange. The yellow is squeezed lemonade. The green will be the mowed lawn. Um, the blue is salty ocean and the indigo I'm going to be using chip sapphire and then the purple violet colour will be seedless preserves. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is where you directly put the like ink or in this case I'm using the markers. You can do this with the pads as well but I don't currently own them, I only have the markers. And you colour it straight directly onto your craft mat and then you do it in the order you want, so obviously I'm doing the rainbow effect here. You can use any colours as well, I'm just showing you the rainbow way. And um, once you've done that, you take your spritzer bottle and spray all of the ink. And because it's a distress markers, it will react to the water. And um, I don't actually have a spritz bottle, <laughs> so I adapted an old perfume bottle that it, it basically spritzed. And I'd used it all, so I just use that. It saves me money as buying a new spritz bottle and stuff like that but yeah so that's a, another way you can save money and be on a budget <laughs> and yeah so you sm then smish the paper straight into it and you've got to use watercolour because obviously there's a lot of ink going into this I, m I mean a lot of water not ink <laughs> um, and this way if you put it directly on it's, um, it gives a more a lighter effect and you do have less control where with the other way which I'm going to be showing you shortly you do you have um the outcome is more controlled which you can see here there's a lot more defined and controlled and that's because you color the pen straight onto the watercolor cardstock instead of doing it onto the craft mat because then the color is a lot more intense because it's directly onto the paper and obviously i'm doing again the um colors of the rainbow so the red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet <laughs> and I'm just colouring them in small little lines and you can do them bigger but I wanted like another set row you can do them a lot bigger and just have them colours but I then once I got to the violet colour I repeated the same colours again and I, I just that's what I fancied doing at the time I, I, I'm going to probably try doing it the way with the thicker lines because I do think that look nice so that that's probably what I'm going to do on a future card but yeah once you've done that take your spritz bottle again I'm just putting my away, away my markers because <laughs> I'm a bit I like my craft desk to be tidy <laughs> um yeah and then I spritz but you got a spritz from the side because I don't want them blend I want that defined line so you if you spritz from the side and then mop up any excess water with a cloth they're not going to blend as much and it is a messy process as you just saw my hands did get messy if you don't like getting your hands messy this probably isn't for you but I don't mind I don't mind messy hands but I can't stand a, a messy craft desk <laughs> messy hands fine craft desk no <laughs> but yeah and then you can leave it to dry on its own but I just use my heat gun and whack it a, with a bit of heat so here they are side by side you can see on the left is the one direct to craft map and it's a lot lighter and the lines aren't as defined because the inks are able to blend more. Where with the one where it's direct to the cardstock, the lines are very defined and the colours a lot more vivid. So now I'm going to be taking the lighter of them, so the one direct to craft mat. And I'm taking this set called um, Beautiful. And there's just like a little banner one that says thankful for the small things. And I'm going to use my Versa, VersaFine ink to stamp that onto a strip of a, a bit of scrap I basically had from my um, Nina Solo white card stuff. And because I keep all my, my scraps and any little banners and stuff, you can use them for that. It just saves, you know, getting a whole new piece of paper out and wasting card. It's just, I, can't, I can't waste card. <laughs> but yeah, I started doing it with a trimmer. And I was like, I'm never going to get it straight with a trimmer. So... I changed, I got my cutting mat out and my ruler and my X-Acto knife and I used them to create, like cut off the extra bit, white bits on the top and the bottom 
and then the side bits I'm going to leave because I'm going to be colouring them. First I used my Versafine and I'm like, I'm not going to get all of that in. I was like, why am I doing this? This is silly. So I switch to my black soot distress marker and um, I just colour in all the whites apart from obviously the sentiment itself because that would be a bit silly to colour that in <laughs> and then I colour the edges to remove that white because I don't want that white showing through and then once that's done I um, take my little background I made with the distress markers and I fiddle around with the banner where I want it and then when I've got it I fold the corners over so that it it stays and then um, I just take my zig two-way memory memory don't know what I'm saying memory <laughs> two-way glue pen um, I know why that is because I'm going to be using something with memory in the name in a sec and then um, I use that and I actually got a new one so it's not as dry as one of the last videos where I tried to use it and I'm like won't work <laughs> and here's why I said memory because we are memory keepers, corner tromper and half inch setting. They go around each of the corners and then I tape runner the whole thing because obviously we're using a lot of water. It it warped the card. So you gotta do that. And um I then grabbed my um multi map medium because I just I, I wanted to be firm and I wanted to know that it was gonna stay down and then corners wasn't gonna pop up because obviously the rounded corners you can't get in as detailed with the um tape runner so I just go around and dab a little bit in and then put my little clip on to hold it there because obviously the wet glue it needs a bit of time to dry and then I do that to all four corners and then pop my we are memory keepers um panel punch on top and just put it aside while I work on the other card which is this one and I use the tea break set for this one and it's a big um stamp I've got that's um I can't remember exactly what it says but believe you can and you're already halfway there I think it says with like big bold and it just it's like a bold standout sentiment sentiment even um and i'm going to be stamping that with versamark so that i get the watermark and then using my wow opaque bright white which i can't get to focus on in the video but that's that's what it's called it's the wow opaque bright white and it's the um regular i think it is mm, might be the super fine it doesn't really affect it much for me anyway but um then sprinkle that all over the image and I do make a boo-boo here and when I go to clean it up and pour it back in I then grab my piece of paper no my piece of cardstock with the um, embossing on and smudge some of it off so I had to <laughs> basically pour a bit more on to cover my mistake up it, it didn't take long to fix so it was fine um, then using my paper mania heat gun to heat emboss that which this gun I think was like 15 pound off Amazon and it it's such a good gu um, heat gun I, I have no problems with it and um, for the price you can't really complain I then take that and put it onto a bit of cardstock black cardstock which I got in that um, market place a big box of cardstock and I think it's amazing it's a really thick card and for the price I, was, I paid for them I can't complain because the amount I've got and I love I love black cardstock <laughs> I completely love it so I'm going to be using that quite a lot in the videos from now on. But yeah, I then place my Me Our Memory Keepers back on top of that just to give it a bit of time to set. Because I did put a bit of the multi-map medium on, like the last one. So I'll put that on just to basically hold it down. And that's both of the cards finished. Um, here you go, I'll show you them so side by side now. So you can see a bit more in detail what they're like next to each other. And you can really see the difference between them. Um, so in a minute I'll show you a picture. Here it is. The left one is the direct to craft mat and the right one is the direct is the direct paper. And the quality, they're just the direct to craft mat is a lot lighter than the direct to paper and a lot less controlled. But it's it is a nice look and I'm gonna be using that again because it's one of them, it's random, it's fun, you don't know what's going to happen, how it's going to come out. And I, I do like that that like sense of, oh, is it going to come out good, that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, and then the other one is very much controlled and um, you know 
kind of how it's going to come out there's no chance with it so if you're going for something you really want that color to be there and that color to be there that's probably your best option and if you want a more vivid one that's probably your best option too but yeah that's two techniques of how to use your distress markers for you today um thanks thanks for watching this till the end please like subscribe i'll put a little link so you can click and it will take you straight to my channel to subscribe you straight away but every new videos every week i try and get them up on saturday sometimes i have to upload earlier or later depending on home situation so if i'm going to be out and stuff like that but I, I do have a new video every week but yeah again thanks for watching like subscribe bye